How to add video to image banner in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a video banner in the place of the image banner on your Shopify store. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to your Shopify store then you are going simply to set up your account. By setting up your account, you have to add the products on your store and also you are going to select a plan that you have and then you will be good to go. Now, as you can see here on the Shopify online store, when you click on customize the theme, it will only show you a image banner and not a video banner. For example, here we are on the template. I'm going to add a section and here as you can see when I type banner I will only see here a image banner and not a video banner so in order to add this video banner we are going to uh, play the codes and make them in the shorts how you are going to do that it is very simple follow up the tutorial and the steps that I am going to show you the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to the online store theme and then you are going simply to click on the three dots right here. Then when you click on the three dots, you are going to see something named edit code. You click on edit code and here we have the HTML code reader or the editor of Shopify theme. Now we are going simply to create a new section. Since the banner image a, uh, is a section, the video banner should be a section also. I am going to make this and scroll down until I see sections. Under the sections, I'm going to click on it. And here we are going to add a new section. Click on it. And here we have to make it a liquid section. File name, I'm going to name it, for example, video or background let's name it background like that background background like that dash video make sure to make the nomination like that in the place of the space so it will not be written by the system the space is not readable here we have the dash you have to da add a dash between the two words Simply click on done and remember here we have background dash video dot liquid. We have to create this section and here Shopify will automatically add some some names and some random codes. All you have to do is to delete those codes because we don't need them. And then we are going to add to this code that I have here on this block knots. I'm going to make it uh, on the description of the video. All you have to do is to, le to select uh, the text from if section blocks size until you see here and schema. I'm going to copy it, go back here in the background video liquid, paste that code right away, click on save. And then it will be saved. The assets will be saved. So I'm going back to exit this uh, HTML code. Then I'm going simply to click on customize. On customize, we will see here that we will uh, see something added to the section and it is a new thing. This is the image banner, as you can read here. I'm going to click on add section. Here on the sections, normally it will be added as a background or a background um, video I'm going to search for background and here as you can see we have a new block or a new section called video background we have here no image I'm going to add this so here we have something created I am simply going to click on this then we have the video slide here you can go ahead and put the video link that you have uploaded I highly recommend you to use a link internal in the Shopify store and not some video provided content, for example, YouTube, Vimeo or, and etc. 
so you have to upload your own video i'm going to let you see how we can do that first we are going to save this section so we will not forget about it and then i'm going to exit the theme editor i'm going back right here into the content which we have here then i'm going to switch to files click on files and here we have all the files from images to videos that are uploaded to our store now i'm going to upload a new file and simply we are going to search for the file that we have uh, downloaded or the video that we want to see on uh, the uh, shopify store i'm going to select this video for example it will take some time to upload to my website i will let it upload then i simply going to copy the link that shopify will provide me with it is very simple and it is a uh, easy task as you can see right now we have the video uploaded so i'm going to do the step that i told you before click on copy link and then i'm going back to the online store i'm going to click on customize the theme then we are going to proceed to the section that we have added to the template here under the template we will see normally the video background at the end click on video slide and simply when it says video link i'm going to paste the link that we have here normally it will recognize the video link since we have uploaded it to shopify so it is an internal link when you click on the link it will show up the video here we have the video it is playing now all you have to do is to go ahead and add the heading as you can see here the heading and the description is above the video and this is a very good thing now i'm going to put for example a, a heading i'm going to customize it uh, for example welcome I'm, I'm going to put a welcome message welcome to our store like that and for the description you can go ahead and write here and delete that description if you want and you can add a description if you have something i'm going to generate a description right here i'm going to put a uh, clothing or clothing Let, uh, let's say that it is a clothing store store description and i will let the ai generate the here the uh the this description that we need here we can set the tone i'm going to put this description and here we have the text color you can go ahead and customize the text color for example like that and here we are going to let for example the text to white it is more efficient it will change the color of the title or the heading and also the description we have here a button label you can see we have a button label you can add a button um, uh, on the on the video for example click let me uh, test it click here and we will see here if any button will appear now it will not and also you can for that button you can add a link to it you can when they click on the video they will be uh, added to the uh, or guided to the uh, store or the page that you have set for example i will make the video go ahead and take them to the products like that all products and here we have it we have here the background button color and we have the button text color when you finish everything right here we are simply going to click on save and here the next thing that you need to do is to go right here back and we are going to click on the uh, drag right here or the six vertical dots and going to put the video background banner upper right here at the top of the um, image banner and also you can go ahead and uh, delete the uh, image for example or you can go ahead and make it hidden and so we can see this version now i'm going simply to click on save i want to let you see something this is the desktop version you can see here the header and the description 
when you click to see the mobile version you will not see the description and the heading this is a little problem and i have the uh, solution for it so to make this work and it will uh, see the description and the title all you have to do is to exit this uh, section of the theme editor go back right here on the three dots of the coding edit code again and here we are going to search for something called base dot css we have here the base dot css simply we have some codings i'm going to add a new code as you can see here uh, i am going to link these codes so you will not search them for anymore i am going to select that file or that code it is named media screen and um, here until this uh, this pattern i'm going to select all of this code copy it and go back right here at the end of the uh, css of the base at the end of it i'm going to select uh, the end here we have a, a a pattern at the end i am going simply to click on enter here we have some space i'm going simply to paste that code and as you can see here we have the code pasted click on save and simply we are going back to the website click on exit go back to the theme store as you can see click on customize and here we will see the uh, the description normally click on here i'm going to click on the mobile version and as you can see we have here the description and the title shown that was very simple and very easy that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one